Hey guys, Alex Automotive here, and today we're going to be taking out the factory radio and we're going to be installing a aftermarket radio in this 2007 Jeep Liberty. So to start off, we're going to take the screw out that's underneath here. You can use a Phillips screwdriver and it should come right out. And then we're going to take a pry tool pry just on the edge of this trim piece being careful that we don't pry too much so we don't break it and we gotta be careful when we pry around this trim so we don't scratch the outside of the trim either okay so once we got that off we're gonna put the key on we're gonna put the car in first gear and shut the key off and then we're gonna unplug a couple of these HVAC module wires get those off so we're gonna unplug this one over here and this one right here and then we're gonna take the screw off that's right here we're gonna take this one out there's four of them there's one here one here and then it's two over here on this side Then once we got those off, this radio will slide out. It's kind of hard to slide it out, but it come out. And then we got two cables in the back. One is for the satellite. We'll slide it out. And the other one is for the radio. So you have pressure clip. Once you press the clip, it'll slide right off. And this connector right here will be for the satellite. And then this one right here is for the back of the radio. So with my aftermarket kit I got, I got this kit right here. I got it off of Amazon. And it came with this connector that will plug right in to this, the factory wiring. So we'll go inside, we'll solder the wiring harness for the new radio up. I'll see you guys then. So now that we got all our wires soldered together, my car has some steering wheel controls. So I went off of Amazon and I got the steering wheel control. I followed the wire diagram and I also connected it to the power and ground where it's supposed to go. And then the wire diagram told me to put it on pin 14 of this connector. So pin 14, there's a little 12 up there. So you go 12, 13, 14, which would be this white and purple wire so i'm going to cut that and then splice it into the purple wire that is right here for the steering wheel controls so after i do that i'll get back to you guys so i got the pink wire connected to the steering wheel controls and the steering wheel controls is connected to the aftermarket plug that's going to plug into our older plug that came off our radio so right here. After I got it all connected, I tucked it back in there. And then today we're gonna to be installing this Kenwood radio that has Bluetooth, aux, and USB all in the front of it. And it also has a detachable faceplate. So once I get that in the car, I'll show you. And then I also, after we install it, I got this faceplate. I also got this off of Amazon. There is the part number. So it should slide over the radio and bolt it all together, make it look nice all around here so we don't have that big gap that the radio will leave. Okay, so after we got our radio connected, we got the faceplate slid on. So we're gonna slide, connect that to where it goes. We're gonna put the antenna wire to where it goes. And then we are gonna put, where did that wire go? This wire, where it goes, in the aux port back here. Put that all on. So now we're gonna make sure our wiring is out of the way. So after we got all the wires took back in, the radio slid in, we're gonna saw all four screws and the right holes. And after we do that, we're gonna test it to make sure it works before we snap this trim piece on. Because you don't wanna snap the trim piece on, it not work, and have to take it all back apart again. Screw that on. 
Okay. So I'll grab the key. So after you grab the key, start it, make sure it works, and then you put the trim piece on, and then you have it. So we got everything hooked up. We use the backing plate from this kit right here. And we slid the metal thing that came with the radio over the back plate inside the car. So we got that. We connected the antenna wire using that part number right there. And we follow the wiring diagram to hook up our radio. So we use this radio with that. Looks like that. We use the blue to try to match the OEM blue lights that pop up up here. It's somewhat close, but we did a good job. So we use this for the steering wheel controls, which are behind the steering wheel, like right over there, with the volume up and the volume down. And then that was it. So that's how you install an aftermarket radio in a 2007 Jeep Liberty. Stay tuned for more. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. We'll be doing more videos like this. We'll be working on engine and diagnosis stuff and we'll be doing like tool review and all that. So if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.